Hello YouTubers and welcome to my review of the much anticipated Resurrection of the Dalek set which you know absolutely was always the plan all along to release a Resurrection set and wasn't because people were you know constantly asking where's the Resurrection set but regardless here we are so this is uh, the Resurrection of the Dalek set and there are two variants of this set which as you can see, I've got a Dalek representing uh, both of them, which I'll go on to and that in a minute. The price, thankfully, this year has not increased. It's still twenty one ninety nine. So, you know, for two Daleks in twenty twenty four, the way inflation is, it's not a bad deal. It's a pretty decent deal actually, especially considering the bloody prices character are wanting on their bloody website for things. But, uh, yeah, if we get uh, into this first, so we'll take the Supreme Dark and uh, put him off to one side and that for now. And we'll take a look at the two drones in this set. So, the only difference between the two, so if you're wondering what the variant is between the two of them, which most of you probably already know by now, this one has the silver at the bottom here, though really it should be more of a white, but regardless, it's got silver towards the bottom here. And this one just has plain old grey so yeah this Dalek here on the right is meant to be representing uh, Dalek 17 and this one is basically representing pretty much all the others although to be honest it would have been nice if uh, they'd um, done some black in between the mesh to make it look like um, the one that's because they've still got a black band underneath here, so there's still black showing through. So it would be nice if there was a bit of black going across here. And that. But yeah, the eye stalks, by the way, are exactly the same as the original release. In fact, here's an original release Supreme. I'll do a proper comparison with that one later. But it's exactly the same eye stalk and that uh, on both of these. So yeah, it's not a new eye stalk. It's exactly the same across the board and I've just dropped it that's great isn't it <laughs> uh, thankfully this one these ones have uh, the red tip on the or sort of the red orange type tip on the end of the gun which was for some reason uh, absent and that on the uh, revelation of the Dalek sex with uh, the Necros Daleks for some reason they didn't have it even though they should and both of them have over the black oval and that here, but uh, yeah, let's get on to the elephant in the room and that with this set, and that is the colour of these Daleks. The colour's just wrong, it's way off, way off, and the thing is though, I don't know why, because uh, if I put, there we go, this is the Death Zone Dalek from last year. Now this one has been sprayed with a clear gloss, so it's the correct glossy colour, but this is the closest that uh, Aldua has ever gotten, or character, whoever you want to pick, has ever gotten to, you know, getting it right for the Resurrection Daleks. This is still not, you know, 100% accurate, but this is definitely the closest it's ever been. So, why have we got this light grey? I really don't understand why. Because it's wrong. And what's ironic about this is, this colour scheme is actually closer, not exact, but it is closer to a Renegade Dalek. So yeah, this is an accurate coloured Renegade Dalek. Uh, I did a whole video last year about uh, spraying these up and that. And yeah, had a bloody nightmare doing uh, the around the hemispheres and that but yeah in terms of the color this is basically the color that the renegades actually are and yet as you can see this one well it clearly is different it's not a million miles off it's a lot closer than you know the color Alduar actually did use on uh, the renegades which was a really light color almost destiny if it was this you know this color but obviously in, in matte it would have been much closer and that obviously is still not accurate and that but you know it would have been closer than what we actually did end up getting but regardless we've got the raised neck section again this time around and just like last year there's no mesh in there 
which yeah i don't know why you know the sculpt can't be modified to add mesh considering you know that was the case what he did with uh the imperial dalek slacks when it came to the renegades you know this is a modified imperial to have the mesh in there so why can't this one be modified to add the mesh effect and that in there i mean it is nice that it is good that it's got the risk section on there but still but yeah what else can i can see, really say about this it's completely the wrong color it is glossy which is correct but yeah it's just completely the wrong color for this garlic like you know not even close Considering, you know, you had the perfect, you know, blueprint to go off. Basically, you know, either do a slightly, slightly different variation of this or better off, you know, save time and money. Use this exact colour on this. I know a lot of people last year were buying extra five Doctor Sex to basically customise this into uh, Resurrection Daleks. And I'd still say that's the case. What I would personally do... If I was, you know, although this still isn't accurate because it doesn't have uh, the overlay, but yeah. But am I going to, you know, do a whole, oh, let's go repaint them all and that? Um, no, because I can't be asked, <laughs> quite frankly. And it shouldn't be my job. It's not my job to bloody make, like, basically, if the figure is not painted accurately, why should that be my pr problem? You know, why should... Uh, the excuse that I've seen going around is, oh, well, you can repaint them yourselves. Yes, you can. You can do that with basically any Doctor Who figure. You can absolutely repaint it yourself. But the whole point of them is they're supposed to be, you know, accurate to basically, you know, character, monster, whatever that it's portraying. But this isn't. This isn't. And also, as a variant... Like my god, that is a event. Like that is a event. Now the B and M I went to. Um, in fact, well, the various B and Ms I went to. There'll be a video on that. Don't worry. But um, I was only able to find uh, two of these. The ones with the grey. I found uh, way more of these, and also there's only six of these per box. Whereas the Davroses, there's twelve per box. I've no idea why that is the case, but there you go. But if you were going to do two variants and that between them, why not give one of them, you know, the orange dome lights? I, I just don't get why. Why not give one of them the, the orange dome lights and that? Because this is such a slight variant and that between them. And obviously, I prefer this one. I prefer this one. Because one... It looks more visually interesting, and also it's based on Dalek 1-7. But, uh, yeah, this one, more visually interesting, this one. Yeah, I think if it... It should have really had some black in there, to be honest. I think to sort of bring it out and that a bit. will make it a little bit more accurate, but, uh... Yeah. But anyway, let's get on to the Supreme Dalek. So... Let's get uh, the one for comparisons out. And the actual one. So, yeah. So, the best way to show this is to basically show a comparison. So, this is an original release on the right. And, obviously, the new release on the left. So, the new one is an improvement on this one. This one actually is, you know, a vast improvement over the original release. In the main fact is, it's glossy. Which, the original release was not. And, obviously, it's got a raised next section here, which... Obviously didn't exist at this point. Obviously we've got the newer slack sculpt compared to the older one. And also the little red tip there where it's absent like that. For some reason the end of the plunger is glossy. And uh, this is the case for all of them. And that, uh, I don't know whether it's just moulded in glossy black plastic. But yeah, the end of the plunger, the actual ends... Obviously, shouldn't be glossy. They should be matte because, you know, it's rubber. It's the rubber sucker and that at the end. Now, the next section of this Dalek is black. And it shouldn't technically be black. But no, it shouldn't be silver. It should actually be gunmetal grey. It should be gunmetal grey, not 
uh, black, not silver, but gunmetal grey. And the reason it looks silver in a certain photo that's floating around, that is off a publicity shoot. And in that publicity shoot, you know what they use? They use these great big, you know, things called flashes. And when a flash will reflect off something, you know, that's shining, that, that's gunmetal grey, when it reflects off the light, it will make it look silver. But the actual colour is gunmetal grey. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad it is black and not... Because uh, the thing is, Alduar probably would have done it silver. If he'd have known and that, he probably would have done it silver and it would have just looked completely wrong. And that. So, for me, I'm not too fussed about that. And the fact that, you know, it is, you know, the correct gloss and that. I mean, you can really see the difference in that between them and that when you have them both side by side and that from each other but yeah for, in terms of the supreme dalek this one absolutely is an improvement to that over the original in every way so yeah basically supreme dalek excellent however there is one last thing Oh, what the hell, Alduar? Why do you keep doing this? The bloody scuffing and that on the fenders. Because it shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there. And if it is, it doesn't look like that. He's he's made it look like, you know, scuffed metal or tarnished metal. Uh, Alduar, the bases of these garlics are made of wood. They do have a metal band which is the upper section going across all the way around. But then they're generally covered in pool cleaner. They shouldn't technically be the two-tone base here. It should all just be one. It's uh, not pool cleaner, but uh, pool covers, basically, that go all the way around, that are cut down and go all the way around. But um, Or just a piece of rubber, basically. When it wasn't that, it was just a piece of uh, rubber around the bottom to basically just hide the actor's feet. But it shouldn't look like tarnished metal. It also, for, you know, if it is going to look like uh, anything and that, then it should be either white or grey marks, but they should be very, very subtle and very slight because you know why Daleks, what the marks are on Dalek fenders when you normally see them? It's normally scuffs of paint that have come off whatever they've banged into because, again, it was either... You know, the wood part binding into it, or the rubber. So, yeah, this tarnished metal just isn't right. Also, I've just noticed something else. Uh, remember how on these ones we had the little nice silver tip of the plunger there at the end? These ones don't have it. Even though they should. Yeah, they're all just uh, completely black. Which... I don't know why. I think it's because Alduar believes that the plungers don't extend because that's what he seemed to believe about uh, the Destiny Daleks initially. That the plungers didn't extend. They do. They don't extend as much as like the 60s Daleks uh, because they basically removed one of the poles or whatever they're called inside. So they only have one extending bit, not two. But uh, yeah, it's like a disappointment there. But... Do I like this set? Mm. Supreme Dalek, you know, for the most part, very happy with this. But this, this is just the wrong colour. And this is just unacceptable. Like, I'm amazed. How do you get it this wrong? How do you get it this wrong? Because even when you look at it on screen in certain pictures where it may look more vaguely like this, it still doesn't match it at all. It's far too light, and the colour is just off and that to begin with. So, yeah. As I said, it's a, it is a disappointment and that. Especially, we had the perfect thing to go off of, this from last year. I mean, look at this compared to that. I mean, when you literally put one of these next to the Supreme Dalek, looks so much better. And then you put this here and it just it just looks way out of place. It's far too light. But yeah. As I said, so, you know, recommend it highly on the Supreme Dalek. And I do really like the Supreme Dalek design. It's not my favourite. 
I'd say that would probably be uh, the Remembrance Supreme in terms of design. But in terms of figures, this is a real, you know, really good figure. But this, it just missed it so far. I don't know what it is, you know, with Alderaan and not being able to get the colour of the Daleks right. And going very off in a, some sort of other direction that doesn't match it at all. So... But yeah, there we go, people. There we go.